Hi guys, welcome to Linux our YouTube channel. My name is Ram Mishra and I am your Linux trainer. So what's new in this video? In this video I will tell you how to work with eligible handlers in playbook. So guys, let's begin the topic. But before start the live session, we have to understand few points which is what is eligible handlers and its use cases. So for the demonstration purpose, I have a lab scenario for you. Please look at that. Guys, this is my eligible handler lab setup environment. So the first question is what is handlers a handler is exactly the same as normal tax but it will run when called by another tax a handler will take an action when called by an event it's listened for so handlers are meant to perform an extra action when a tax make a change to a managed host they should not be used as a replacement for normal tax okay so I'm going to be little bit more explained in which cases handler are requires. Basically, eligible modules are designed to be idempotent. This means that in a properly written playbook, the playbook and its tasks can be run multiple times without changing the managed host unless they need to make a change to get the managed host to the desired state. However, sometime when it when a task just makes a change to the system, a further task may need to be run. For example, like uh, a change to service configuration file may then require that the service be reloaded so that the change configuration takes effects. Here comes the importance of handler. Okay. So for the lab demonstration purpose, I have a two tester virtual machine. First machine acting as a control node, this one, with the host name server1.pool.org having the IP address 10.0.0.1 and running Linux OS is RHEL 8.0 and running eligible version is 2.9.1 and my second machine this one acting as a managed host with the host name client1.pool.org having the IP address 10.0.0.2 and running Linux OS is RHEL 8.0 so what I am going to do on control node I will make few playbooks which showing eligible handler environments and then I am going to develop this playbook on the managed host ok so for the lab session let's begin the live demonstration so I am on the control node firstly I will show you the host name and the eligible version so this is server1.pool.org and currently I am using eligible version 2.9.1 ok so for being time saving purpose I have already created a few playbooks my first playbook name is handler.yml where I have mentioned few tasks without eligible handler keyword otherwise video will be very long so I'll show you guys this is my handler.yml file so let's understand the playbook here I have mentioned a plain name play1 I want to deploy this playbook on the all managed host so that's why I mentioned host all then in the task section I mentioned tasks name according to the tasks like uh, my first task is to install the FTP server so for this purpose I use yum module and the second task is I want to start the FTP services and make it enable on so that's why I use service module and the third task I want to synchronize some file from control node to the manage host so for this purpose I use synchronize module in the synchronize module in the source section here SRC section or SRC key I mentioned the Linux DIR Linux directory which I have already created on the current location so later I will show you the content of the Linux directory and in the DSTK that is destination key here one this is the location of my FTP document root of manage host this one slash where slash FTP pub ok so this thing can be changed as per your need then in my last task I mentioned the task name restart FTP services so for the same purpose I again use service module ok so this is my first handler.yml file so now let's see what happened when I run this playbook without handler key ok so now I save and quit from my playbook and I am going to show you my Linux directory content so currently I am in this location and this is the content of my Linux directory so here I have created three blanks file for testing purpose ok so now my playbook is ready to run but before run the playbook do not forget to check the syntax error first so I run the command and visible playbook hyphen hyphen syntax check 
and my EML file that is handler.yml okay looks good now run the playbook so for this I run the command eligible playbook and my YAML file handler.yml showing my play name play1 gathering some facts from the manage host and start my tasks that is first one install FTP server first okay second third fourth good it shows me change the output in my all tasks without giving any error so from on the control node I check whether FTP server is available or not using systemctl status command and also check synchronized destination file location. So for this I use eligible ad hoc command. So look at that. I say eligible hyphen A and systemctl status vs FTPD all. Okay, good its active and running condition and the similar way I can check the content of my Linux directory this is ls where ftp pub Linux good I got the right output okay so this is the normal scenario now what happened earlier I told you that eligible modules are designed to be I don't depend it means if I again run the same playbook without doing any modification it should not be showing any change in effect on the manage host so let's run one more time the same playbook so I run one more time okay showing the play name gathering all facts okay look at that so in this case everything is okay except one task which is changed that is restart the FTP services look at that this is change okay this is not a good idea that every time without doing any modification in the given task whenever we run the playbook FTP service restarted again and again so what I want whenever change happen in related tasks then only FTP services should be affected so in this type of scenario eligible handler play handlers play a very important role in the playbook so I modify this playbook again with eligible handler and let's see what happened okay so here I have my another playbook name handler1.yml with handlers key so I'll show you handler1.yml file look at that guys look at in the third task here synchronize the file so in the third task I use notify key look at that notify key this statement indicates that the task needs to trigger a handler then I mention a handler name this is a handler name restart FTP in my case this is restart FTP could be anything this is the name of the handler going to be run okay then after I use handler key here is the handlers key this keyword indicate that the start of the list of handler tasks in the handler task section the task name as name as the same handler name look at that both names should be the same okay this is the name of the handler invoked by the tasks then after I use service module again for the handler okay now I save and quit from my playbook so I save and quit from here check the syntax error and then after run again handler one dot yaml file so this time I said syntax check handler one dot yaml looks good now run the playbook okay showing my play gathering facts and start first task second third fourth okay so it shows me all four tasks okay without any changed output from the managers so until unless I didn't do any modification on my notify tasks my handler tasks will not run now if I make any new file on the Linux directory I mean to say I want to do some modification to my notify tasks then after I run again my playbook my handler should work and my FTP services will be restarted and it should be changed status okay so let's do so I'll make a new file on 
then extract tree uh, it's a uh, google just for testing purpose okay so now i'm going to run again my playbook one more time let's see what happened again play name gathering facts my first task completed second okay third okay look at that synchronize look at that because my notified task that is my synchronized task has been modified it triggers to my restart ftp handler and it shows me change status okay and here is the running handler so this is the way by which handler works in the ansible environment a, a task may call more than one handler and in its notification section Ansible treats the notify statement as an array and repeat it over the handler names okay so one point we have to be remember that if a task that include a notify statement does not report a change result for example package is already installed and the task reports okay then the handler is not notified handler is skipped unless other task notifies it so ansible notifies handler only if the task report as the change status okay so this is the one point we have to keep in mind always whenever we are using handler in my our playbook so guys finally this is the end of this topic hopefully you enjoyed and learned new things soon i will come up with another new interesting topics till then keep practicing if you feel something i have missed or you wanted to know more something else please leave your comment and subscribe my youtube channel for more updates if you like this video please do not forget to like share and subscribe my channel and press the bell icon button for the latest update guys one more thing if you are interested to taking the classes online rel 8 rscs and rsc section please contact us through given links which is mentioned in the description thanks for watching stay safe and goodbye